As we go about our daily lives, nature occasionally offers reminders of its untamed power. Deep beneath Yellowstone's scenic vistas and tranquil landscapes, the ground has suddenly come alive, sending ripples of unease across the scientific community. With a staggering 340 earthquakes reverberating through its ancient grounds, whispers of an imminent eruption now echo in hushed conversations worldwide. In an age where we think we've seen it all, Yellowstone stands poised to remind us of the unpredictable power of the Earth. The question lingers, are we on the brink of witnessing history? Yellowstone's geological foundation is rooted in a hotspot of volcanic activity, a legacy that spans a staggering 17 million years. Today's Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field is a testament to this legacy, a place where molten mantle surges to the crust, pausing momentarily before its explosive release. The seismic episodes that punctuated Yellowstone in July 2023 included a notable quake measuring 2.2 on the Richter scale. This series culminated in a significant swarm near West Yellowstone, Montana, especially intense between July 10 to 13. While such clusters of earthquakes, synchronized in time and location, aren't new to the region, the sheer rapidity and concentration of these recent tremors have ratcheted up the prevailing concerns. Notably, the Yellowstone Plateau volcanic field underwent three significant eruption phases over 2.1 million years. Each cataclysmic event birthed a mammoth caldera, either within the park or to its west. Such dramatic landscapes are born when vast expanses of fragmented volcanic debris cascade outward. Chronologically, the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff emerged first, followed by the Mesa Falls and Lava Creek Tufts. The ground's dramatic collapse after each eruption event carved out the park's iconic calderas. With this backdrop, it's not the idea of an eruption that unnerves experts, but the sheer magnitude a Yellowstone eruption could reach. In contrast, the Mesa Falls Tuff released 280 cubed kilometers, while the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff unleashed a staggering 2,450 cubed kilometers. Amid the serene beauty, the park's geysers, like the famed Steamboat, serve as persistent reminders of the molten fury simmering below. And while these geysers have maintained their rhythmic eruptions, it's the recent seismic and geothermal deviations that have heightened apprehensions. Intriguingly, Steamboat refrained from its usual July eruption, capping the year's tally at five. Meanwhile, the thermal spectacles near Doublet Pool on Geyser Hill, which had amplified in intensity during May and June, entered a period of dormancy by July's end. Adding to the mystery, reports from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory suggest that despite the recent tremors, the park's earthquake levels are average. Yet the continuous GPS monitoring within the area noted an intriguing pause in the ground's subsidence, typically observed since 2015. As one delves deeper into the intricate geological tapestry of Yellowstone, it becomes evident that the supervolcano's behaviors aren't just an outcome of sporadic episodes, but result from millions of years of Earth's tumultuous inner machinations. The Snake River Plain, which now carries the remnants of ancient eruptions, testifies to this chronicle. The magmatic intricacies of Yellowstone's hotspot have historically set the stage for both massive explosive eruptions and less dramatic outpourings of lava. Before and after the formation of the Great Calderas, Yellowstone bore witness to the creation of both rhyolitic and basaltic rocks. While the rhyolite lava flows sprawled in and around the collapsed calderas, the basaltic ones skirted the caldera's edges. It's this unpredictable nature of volcanic activity, which swings between explosive eruptions and relatively sedate lava flows, that makes predicting Yellowstone's next move a daunting task. Approximately 600 kilometers cubed of such lava was expelled between 180,000 and 70,000 years ago. These eruptions, primarily distributed along two north-south alignments of vents, stands in stark contrast to the behemoth releases that crafted the calderas. Encroaching upon this vast chasm are the thick West Yellowstone and Nez Perce Creek rhyolite lava flows, testifying to the park's vibrant volcanic history. The volatile nature of supervolcanoes, like the one beneath Yellowstone, is influenced by vast reservoirs of molten rock and gases. Every seismic tremor, every geyser eruption is in some way connected to the ebb and flow of this magma. Given this intricate web of geological processes, the recent surge in earthquake activity takes on a heightened significance. It's well understood that earthquake swarms, like the recent 340 tremors, can be indicative of magma movement deep below. This doesn't necessarily imply an imminent eruption, but it does denote a dynamic shift in the subterranean conditions. 
scientists have been relying on a network of seismographs scattered across Yellowstone. These devices, sensitive to even the minutest ground motions, provide invaluable data, allowing experts to pinpoint the depth, location, and magnitude of each quake. Here, GPS stations play a pivotal role, capturing shifts that might suggest magma movement or changes in hydrothermal fluids. For now, while the sheer number of recent earthquakes is unnerving, it's important to understand that Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active regions in the U.S., regularly experiencing hundreds of quakes each year. As our exploration into Yellowstone's geothermal tapestry continues, it's essential to underscore that this isn't the first time concerns have been raised regarding the park's seismic activity. Over the decades, numerous quake swarms have been observed, some more intense than others. The public's reaction, understandably, oscillates between curiosity and concern. At the core of the seismic activities lies the vast and complex plumbing system of magma, stretching from the Earth's mantle to the crust. The movement of this molten rock, combined with geothermal fluids, plays a significant role in influencing not only earthquake swarms, but also the behavior of the park's geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles. However, while the beauty above ground captivates millions of visitors annually, the real action occurs deep below. The magma chamber feeding Yellowstone's supervolcano is colossal, with dimensions that dwarf other well-known volcanic systems. But magma volume alone isn't a direct indicator of eruption potential. Much of this reservoir's content remains solid, with only a small fraction in a molten state. With the reported 340 earthquakes in quick succession, the immediate question arises, what's driving this uptick in seismicity? While it's tempting to jump to conclusions, the science behind these phenomena is nuanced. Earthquake swarms can be driven by various factors, from shifting tectonic plates and faults to the migration of hydrothermal fluids. The exact locations and depths of these earthquakes provide a treasure trove of information. By analyzing the seismic waves, researchers can infer the medium through which these waves traveled, be it solid rock, molten magma, or hydrothermal fluids. While the immediate concern regarding Yellowstone's seismic activity revolves around its potential for eruption, we must remember that this national park has a rich tapestry of geological history. A brief foray into Yellowstone's past sheds light on the cyclical nature of its volcanic events and provides context to its current state. Yellowstone's volcanic saga can be traced back over 17 million years. The journey of volcanic activity progressed from the southwest to northeast along the Snake River Plain. As the tectonic plates shifted, so did the center of the magmatic activity, leaving behind traces of massive calderas and lava flows that are now buried under younger basaltic flows and sediments. Spread out over the last 2.1 million years, these eruptions spewed enormous volumes of ash, pumice, and volcanic rocks, covering vast regions. The most recent of these, the Lava Creek Tuff eruption, occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, creating the current Yellowstone caldera. Between these colossal events, Yellowstone was anything but dormant. Its volcanic landscape was continually molded by rhyolitic and basaltic eruptions. However, as we bridge the gap between the distant past and the present, it's essential to understand the dynamic nature of the Yellowstone system. This isn't a static landscape frozen in time, but an ever-evolving entity. The very Earth beneath Yellowstone is in a state of constant flux, moving, shifting, and adapting to the forces at play. Water, in its various forms, plays a crucial role in Yellowstone's ecosystem. In 2022, a significant atmospheric river event led to an unprecedented deluge over the park, causing catastrophic flooding and temporary park closures. One might wonder, with all this water inundating the region, what's its impact on the geysers and other hydrothermal features? Interestingly, while the flooding was significant, it didn't cause drastic changes in most of the geysers' behavior. For instance, the Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, continues its pattern of eruptions that began in 2018. However, a decline in its annual eruptions suggests a potential shift in its eruptive phase. Research into hydrothermal explosions has provided insights into the potential triggers for such events, with sediment cores revealing evidence of steam explosions spanning the past 14,000 years. These events, driven by rapid fluid expansion, have left their mark on the landscape and provide clues about the dynamic processes beneath the park's surface. 
As we consider the interplay of Yellowstone's geothermal system with its broader environment, it's crucial to reflect upon the implications of the 340 recent earthquakes that have jolted the region. But interpreting this seismic surge requires a nuanced approach, considering Yellowstone's vast geological history. Geologists and park officials are in agreement that while the number of earthquakes is significant, it isn't unprecedented. Yellowstone experiences thousands of minor tremors annually, many of which go unnoticed by visitors and even monitoring equipment. Earthquake swarms, like the recent one, are not uncommon either. Such swarms might be unsettling, but they're part and parcel of Yellowstone's dynamic nature. In the grand scheme of things, these earthquakes, while noteworthy, do not necessarily signal an impending super-eruption. In recent decades, technological advancements have equipped scientists with sophisticated tools to monitor and predict volcanic behavior better. The United States Geological Survey and its partners operate the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a collaborative initiative that closely monitors volcanic, tectonic, and geothermal signals in the region. Such initiatives play a pivotal role in ensuring public safety, offering accurate, timely updates, and dispelling misconceptions. The mystique of Yellowstone National Park, with its breathtaking landscapes and geothermal wonders, is inseparable from its volcanic origins. While recent seismic events in the region have garnered attention, it's paramount to view them within the broader context of Yellowstone's intricate geological history. The dance of tectonic plates, magma chambers, and hydrothermal systems has been ongoing for millions of years, and it will continue long after our time. That's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel.